Sanders with the Mayor's Minutes from our January 17th Auburn City Council meeting. We began during the Committee of the Whole last night. Uh, the Auburn City Council made an appointment to the Board of Zoning and Adjustment. Will Faulkner was appointed to serve as a supernumerary. He will begin uh, serving the Board of Zoning and Adjustment on January the 21st of this year, and it'll be a three-year term. He'll serve to January the uh, 20th of 2026. We appreciate Will's willingness to serve the community through the BZA, and we want to thank everybody. Uh, we had seven or eight great applications for the BZA. Thank all of those individuals for seeking uh, to serve the community through the Board of Zoning Adjustments, and we hope that all of you will look for other opportunities and other avenues to serve the city in the future. Last night we began our regular agenda by recognizing a number of outstanding employees with a Teamwork Award. There was a wonderful video that was put together that you can view on the city's YouTube or Facebook. During the recent cold snap, um, during, during Christmas holidays, there were a lot of uh, situations in our community that needed the attention of our Water Works Department and our Public Works Department, our Public Safety uh, Professionals, Environmental Services and Inspection Services. And I, just want to personally say thank you to all these men and women who were working under very dire conditions. It was bitterly cold. Working while the rest of us were enjoying Christmas with our families and they were out making sure that our buildings were secure and that our property was being taken care of uh, as pipes were busting uh, in our community. So thank you to all of those individuals. There's Once again, there's a great video that I encourage you to go and take in. But thank you to our great employees who again um, have stood up for Auburn. Uh, in times of need, and we, we appreciate that. As we got into uh, our consent agenda last night, we had a number of alcohol beverage licenses. I'll run through these quickly. All the information will be on the city's website. Uh, the first one is for 167 Korean Barbecue. Uh, this is located uh, at 1660 South College Street. This is a restaurant retail liquor license. Uh, the Plains Tap Room, located at 200 West Glen Avenue. This is for a retail beer and a retail wine license. The Saloon, located at 138 North College Street, this restaurant retail liquor license. And Trinity Rose Creations doing business as Auburn Flowers and Gifts. And they wanted to, uh, to have an alcohol license that they could utilize wine in their gift baskets. Uh, and then finally, Shake Seafood and Bubble Tea, located at 815 East Glen Avenue. This is retail table wine and retail beer license. City Council approved the renewal of a three-year small government enterprise agreement with Esri. Um, this is $55,000 a year. It is budgeted. This is for our GIS and mapping software. City Council approved the purchase uh, with Clark Equipment Company for one Bobcat compact excavator uh, with our, for our Parks and Rec Department. This is $101,000, again, budgeted. City Council approved the purchase of equipment and establishing uh, a National Integrated Ballistic Information Network program uh, with forensic technology. This is $232,000. This will allow the city to be able to work with other agencies uh, during crime prevention and crime and solving different crimes. We'll be able to share intelligence. We'll work in partnership with alcohol and tobacco and firearms through the federal government. And all of this will be paid for with a grant. And so uh, we're very fortunate to have this grant. And again, it will allow our public safety and our police department to do a better job and have better information. And then finally, under contracts and agreements, the City Council approved a water meter access fee with the Lochapoca Water Authority for our new environmental services and public works facility. This is $200,000 and this is a one-time expense. Under ordinances last night, the City Council established a, uh, a single stop sign in the Haven, at Haven's Court at Denali Lane. This is in the Haven at Plainsman Lake subdivision. The City Council approved an amended ordinance for the procedures for re revoking a business license in the event that sales taxes have not been paid. Uh, we have been talking about this since October of 2022. We have listened to many of you in our community. We have talked about this um, with the staff here at the, at the City. Uh, our staff prepared an excellent PowerPoint presentation at a recent Council meeting. Um, I want to commend Councilman Tyler Adams last night for working on the amended amendment itself and presenting that to the City Council, and the City Council did ultimately approve this amended ord ordinance last night. All the particular information regarding this is on the City's website. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call the City staff. 
certainly you can call myself or you can call your city council representative if you have any questions. Under zoning and planning recommendations, the city council approved a rezoning of approximately four acres from rural to development district housing in the Lynx Crossing subdivision. And the city council approved a rezoning um, at 3022 Cox Road. This is 5.6 acres from limited development district to comprehensive development district. This was postponed from our December 20th meeting. And I want to thank the Thomas family for working with our city staff uh, to allow us to get the right zoning uh, in place for their new project that they'll be working on in this area. Under resolutions last night, the City Council approved a conditional use approval for the new Auburn Public Safety Training Center. This will be located at 7384 Highway, U.S. Highway 280 West. We have been talking about this a lot recently. Um, this is at the old um, rest stop on Highway 280 where North College intersects with 280. Very excited about what, be, what will be occurring at the new Public Safety Training Center. Under tax abatements last night, the City Council is very proud to announce the one tax abatement for RAPA, located at 2450 Paul Parks Lane in Auburn Technology West. Uh, RAPA will be purchasing their building. They will be investing over $25 million into their building and with new equipment and hiring 23 new uh, individuals for jobs. And we appreciate RAPA coming to Auburn uh, 10 years ago and expanding their industry here in our community. And the City Council also approved a tax abatement for Schmidt Automotive, located at 2471 Innovation Drive in the Auburn Technology Park West. Schmidt will be investing $7.7 .7 million into their plant and hiring 20 new individuals. This is a great way to start our year with over 90, with 93 jobs and almost $33 million of capital investment uh, through these two industries. Thank you for coming to Auburn and thank you for investing in Auburn. Also under contracts last night, the City Council approved a contract with Bailey Harris Construction for the Lake Wilmore Community Center. This has actually came in under budget and has allowed the city to pick up a couple of alternates, which will allow us not only to build the new community center, to build the new pool, but to also build six pickleball courts and a pavilion. And we look forward to this project and all the people that it will serve in Auburn's future. And then finally last night, the City Council authorized legal action regarding a business uh, for various violations of city codes and ordinances. Um, also last night, I, I wanted to recognize the individuals in our community um, for an outstanding Martin Luther King breakfast on Monday morning. The National Forum for Black Public Administrators East Alabama chapter hosts this event each year. Um, there were three uh, city employees, Katrina Cook and Stephen Hicks and Latrice Mose that were actively involved. And I want to congratulate Jeremiah Woods from Auburn High School as the Martin Luther King Scholarship Award. It was a great morning. Uh, to celebrate the life of Dr. King. I also want to thank St. Dunstan's um, as well as the Auburn Public Library for hosting events over the weekend that recognize the 45 year anniversary of the Copper Kettle explosion in downtown Auburn. Uh, that was a Sunday morning that changed Auburn forever when about half of a block on Magnolia Avenue uh, blew up due to a gas leak and it's a miracle to this day that no one was injured and no one was killed um, at that time. And then finally, I want to say thank you to Paul Register, who after 35 years is retiring from the city of Auburn. Paul started as a police officer, worked his way up to become the police chief, and has retired as a public safety director. Thank you, Paul, for everything you've done to make Auburn a better place to live and a safer place to live. This is Mayor Ron Anders with the Mayor's Minutes. Have a great week.